it is our role to be the voice of the German youth. In order to represent this voice, we traveled through Germany for 11 months and collected thousands of youth demands. I would like to address this question to everyone in this room. How do you know what young people are demanding in your country? And have you included the youth perspective in the decision-making process? I want you to keep in mind that young people are especially vulnerable to issues regarding social protection and homelessness due to discrimination, inequalities, and the lack of integration. During our consultation tour, we visited a group of young women who cannot live at home anymore for diverse reasons. It showed us that not only young people, but especially young women, are affected by this issue. One of the reasons being the lack of menstrual hygiene products, medication, and contraception. How will your country ensure social protection for young women affected by homelessness? Target 10.4 of the SDG states that we must adopt social protection policies and progressively achieve greater equality. So how can we expect to reach this target when we fail to allow youth the social protection they need? We want to encourage you to solve the issue of homelessness sustainably by tackling not just the problem's symptoms, but also the problem's roots. What are the roots? First, conflict and wars. Our conflicts and our wars are forcing people to leave their home countries and to become refugees and migrants. Stop delivering arms. Um, if you're delivering arms, you're making people push <coughs> homelessness, and second, you're literally killing them. So we have to stop with that. Second, we need to develop social protection programs for them because the actual accommodation in shelters as well as other human rights violations cannot be an acceptable status for us. Second, climate change. Climate change makes more and more people homeless. Islands getting flooded and gigantic areas are burning. Stop destroying our environment. The world is our home and you're making us homeless. We need to punish companies and other actors destroying our environment. Third, exploitation. More and more people are forced to leave their home countries because they do not have there any opportunities anymore. By exploiting those countries, we are making people homeless. When I look around in this room, I would guess that around 95% of you are wearing clothes made by children, regardless of the price. But why? Can children score better than adults? No, definitely no. But children can be cheap labor, and that's why we are exploiting them. We don't give them the opportunity to go to school and have later on a good life. Many of them are born poor, and the most of them will die poor. We are not doing enough to change that. Therefore, we have to tackle also exploitation and neocolonialism in that. Do not just say how great your country is, but also propose concrete ideas how to tackle these three aspects in your position to leave no one behind. Include that into your country's position in the informals and make concrete ideas too. Thank you very much.